But we have the COVID crisis, we have a hunger crisis, we have a hatred crisis, and we have a health crisis apart from COVID. So, uh, as you said, you know, on the 24th of March, uh, with four hours notice, which uh, ran between eight o'clock at night and 12 midnight, uh, Modi locked down this nation of 1.38 billion people without warning. And the crisis that that has created, the lack of planning, the lack of thinking forward, although like some states like Kerala, which you talked about, have, have done wonderful work, you know, but from the center, the crisis has been exacerbated into something that might might uh, really become even more serious than the epidemic that it's planning for. Um, you have a situation where you have millions of workers and migrant workers under a lockdown, which, which is supposed to enforce social distancing, but it only enforces physical compression. People are crammed together. People are separated from their families. Uh, in many places, they have no food. They have no access to money even. Uh, they've sold their phones. Uh, it's a pop, it's, it's a, it's, you, you have the sense that you're sitting on some kind of explosive substance. And yet at the same time, like you said, uh, arrests are being made, not just the people who you mentioned. Siddharth Vardarajan uh, has not been arrested, the, the editor of Wire, but he has a case filed against him. Senior lawyers who speak out against Modi have had FIRs filed against them. Gautam Navlakha and Anand Seldumde have been arrested. Young students, uh, and people, um, a lot of Muslims who who are now being accused of being uh, part of the massacre that took place against Muslims in Northeast Delhi are being arrested. Uh, you know, the circles are closing in. And the reason I said that the pandemic is a portal is that all over the world you have a situation now where, on the one hand, the powers that be are going to try and increase surveillance, increase inequality, increase privatization, increase control. And on the other hand, you have populations of people who, who will want to increase solidarity and who will want to see and understand the fact that what has happened in the US as well as what has happened in India is that the pandemic has exposed structural problems of such egregious injustice and inequality. Even the calling of the shutdown in four hour, with four hours notice was a sign of panic from, from, from this uh, prime minister because he knows that this infrastructure of this country, it can't even deal with normality, forget about a pandemic.